What up, guys? Back to Monster. I don't know why I did this. Who is this? Oh, <gasps> yo, like, can now, it be the sister? I want you to tell me what was the basis for the ruling the judge made in regards to the 1968 Stuttgart case. Why does his voice sound so funny? Well, what the? What is this silence? Why are we some kind of a monastery? Isn't it the doctor that died? Mr. Or, like, the one, the that dad, or the the bitch? Answer, if you have one. Well, oh. sir, that is to say, I, uh... Anyone? Is there anyone in this room who can break this silence? Wait, did he say Becker? Or am I just hearing things? Is this, like, in the past or in the future? So the chronic latecomer is here at last. You're 13 minutes tardy. Seems your part-time pizza delivery job kept you awfully busy today. Pizza? I'm sorry. Professor Kronecker. Well, let me ask you a question before you sit down. Do you have enough strength left to tell me the basis for the ruling in the 1968 Stuttgart case? Um. Oh, yes. What? Well, That's not good. <laughs> the defense claimed that the kidnapping was a sham and that the victim's death had been due to poisoning. After an investigation into the crime scene, it was found that the victim's death had been accidental. And that there was no motive. So, since the crime couldn't be proven to be an intentional murder, I believe a sentence of 15 years was handed down. Wow. Wow. I knew that. Mm, very good. You can take your seat, Nina Fortuna. Ew, is he smiling? <gasps> yes, Professor. Damn it, bro, I can't read wow. that. Good job, Nina. Chapter no five. Nina. Given the answer, I have no doubt that Cronin Nina would have probably demanded we write a fifty-page report. Yeah, that's the sister, right? We lucky. I'll have to treat our savior Nina to something to eat. What do you say, Nina? A nice meal, just the two of us? Hey, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Peter, but I have a club meeting today. Oh, well, bye. She, she's mine. Oh. She turned you down again. Hey, Peter, how many times was that? Come on, shut up. As if one of you losers could actually score a date with her. If I was you, I wouldn't mess with her. Um, her brother's a damn psychopath killer. God damn, girl. Thank you. She could do that to me. Oh my gosh! If I'm late with my deliveries, the manager's gonna be furious. She's like the only one that doesn't have like. Like fucked up eyes, as in like they like they look. She looks like like she's up to something. She looks tired though. I think those are bags under her eyes, like those little ones. Right there. Hi, I'm home. Boy, oh, I'm hungry. Oh my, the neighbors can probably hear you. You are such a child. Go and wash your hands, dear. Yes, ma'am. She's hot. Huh? Hey, mom, you dyed your hair. Mom. What do you think? At your age. I don't think you should be dyeing your hair such a bright color. I don't agree with you, Dad. I think Mom looks great. Looks Dad. like she's going to some costume parade. It's nice to know Mom is still young. Rude. Right? Hi, Dad. Oh, and that reminds me. Speaking of costumes, I saw some kids dressed up from head to toe today. Oh, yeah. I love Halloween. supposed to be the St. Hadrian costume parade. Oh, oh, I wish I had dressed up like that when I was a little girl. They were so adorable. Hmm? Huh? Yeah, you did dress up in a costume once. Isn't what? that right, dear? Yeah, that was right. sketchy. Uh, completely forgotten. Really? Oh. Let's see. It's around here. Oh, look, here it is. You were so cute. <laughs> oh, <gasps> that's not her. You were what so the? excited and made such a fuss. Isn't that right, dear? Huh? Yeah, I remember. They're trying to protect her memory. Cause if if she remembers, she'll like go into like that that thing that she was back then. You know what I mean? Like in in shock. Yeah, that's a good ass computer. Costume parade, huh? Wow, I yo I, when I was a little kid, bro, I had like Distant I used one of those. Spring. Those forlornly wait for a spring that will never come, Hannah. Oh, Hannah. Can you get over your breakup already? Oh no, don't tell me that piece of shit brother's gonna send her a message. Send you the 
most beautiful flowers. I was born to smother you with flowers. That's so beautiful. <laughs> wow. I wonder who sent this. Oh, fuck, is a damn uh, brother. I'm very impressed with you, Peter. So, no, it's not Peter. How have you been, Nina? Well, I've been very well lately, Dr. Geidel. That's good to hear. But, of course, I could tell just by the look on your face when you came into this session that you were doing well. So, tell me, are you still having that nightmare? The one about the monster emerging from the darkness? No. Oh, shit. I've been sleeping very well. I've been so busy, I don't have time to dream. I wonder why I was plagued by such a dream night after night. Because your brother's the monster? To feel fear and anxiety. Expectations of the future mix up with other insecurities. People end up confused, losing sight of who they are. But who you are is something <laughs> you can spend your whole life trying to grasp and never figure out completely. We're always projecting and trying to look into the future. We spend our whole lives looking for the answers and we do the best we can. Right, and that's what I'm doing. I want to become a federal prosecutor. That's very good. All right, I think that brings us to the end of our session. Bye. Bro, like... Mm -hmm. Like if that brother comes back to her life, like why, bro? Like just go murder people, you piece of shit. Such a cheerful girl, but don't like. I can't help thinking that she's overcompensating or running from something. Something overwhelmingly dark. Huh? Eh, that's what why he's a therapist. What? Don't act so innocent. What in the world are you going on about? I was born to smother you with flowers. I would never have guessed in a million years you had such talent for writing poetry. I don't know what you're talking about. I would just be like, yeah, yeah. Up with frilly stuff like that, even if I stood on my head. Then who was it? I only give my email address to friends and no one else. Beats me. Damn it. What this means is some suave poetry guy is honing in on my girl. <laughs> um. Chill. Who could it be? Not your girl. Oh my god, bro. Is the brother gonna ruin her life? took place in Munich. After shooting the parents to death, the perpetrator strangled their two children with a rope. Grizzly, really? Oh, fuck. Now, I would like you to explain the verdict using the records from all of the hearings. Nina. No. Dude, that's gonna make her remember everything. What, do you not understand the question? Um, no. Um, well, the trial was focused mainly on the cold-blooded murder of an entire family. No. Uh. The evidence. The evidence. No. Oh, so not even Nina has all the answers, huh? Dude, shut up with your ugly smug face. <laughs> Nina? Oh my gosh, she's having a panic attack. Remembering. Are you all right? Do you want to go see the nurse? I, I'm all right. I just felt a little ill. That's all. I was just listening to the professor, and I. Huh? You mean that question about that murdered family? Don't say that. <laughs> Is that it? I thought you were awfully brave, but I guess you're pretty sensitive too. Did you watch a horror movie that totally scared you when you were a kid or something? No, she exactly lived the horror what movie. That counselor, Dr. Geidel, would say. If you get back to the root of it, I think that you'll find it was nothing significant. Now go back to your childhood. Am I right? That's what do I feel like he's going to get stabbed? I have no memories. Huh? I remember nothing before the age of 10. Wow. That, that, that moment... Literally, like erased everything. Not erased, but like, like, like put in the in a safe. That's crazy. Why do I feel like the the brother's gonna kill like all her friends? And oh no, he's gonna he's gonna kill her her new parents. Oh no. Those two were indeed a very nice couple. 
To think that they died in such a way. Huh? Children? Oh, now that you mention it, yes, there was a son. His name was Michael, I do believe. He was there for a year or two. Let's see, a boy. Do you remember if there was a boy? Yes, there was. Wasn't his name Michael? He was 14, give or take. Michael, you say? Yeah, no. I think I remember him. But All the old why? guys like the same. Who are you, the police? Yes, Michael Regman. I remember him vaguely, but he was a student in my classroom. But he... He didn't leave much of an impression. I'm embarrassed to say it, but honestly, I don't remember him very well. I'm not sure if he had any friends. You see, there are no records left from then. Everything went up in a fire about six years ago now. Wow, he... Oh my God, there it's definitely him. There was a boy named Michael living here in Combe until six years ago. He's chasing Michael's him? Michael's real name is... Johan, huh? Yes, there was a time when I went by that name. Who are you? Johan Burns. What's the use? He's a serial killer, an older of twin siblings. That's all there is to it. Nothing else. Yeah, he's a bitch too. I forgot that. What am I doing? <laughs> Yo, so twins. His sister. Where did his twin sister go? I will now I just thought of it. Very soon. Who is no. This? He'll be picking me up very soon. But what does that mean? No. What the f dude? This dude's so annoying. Just like mind your own business, Child. bro. Like what? Oh yes, there was a boy about seven or eight years ago. So Mr. and Mrs. Heine had taken a boy in before they were killed. And I don't. I like? despise that kid, bro. What was he like? That was quite a long time ago. And I think he only really lived with them for about a year or so. I honestly don't remember anything about him. Wait, do you remember if this boy had a sister? No, only the boy. Listen, I just want to forget about what happened to that poor couple. After all those horrible things happened, I almost moved away. I would. The fuck? I moved to America. No, Japan, my bad. Oh. I remember that Wait, boy Japan? very well. Why don't you come up? I was about to have some tea. Oh, uh, he has no face? Come in, have a seat. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, I was wondering... Just have a seat. Uh... Yo, like, no offense, like, all the old people in this show are, like, scary as fuck. <laughs> Like, in nightmares. Like, I'll have nightmares about them. I love old people, alright? I'm just saying, like, it just look mad creepy in this anime. Go ahead, have some tea. Uh, thank you, sir. Thanks, bro. So you have some coal? You're a doctor, right? That boy was the one who told me. You are Dr. Tenma. He talked to him? He's coming to pick <gasps> me up. Who is he? I have no idea who he is. It was just an anonymous email. Aw, you look so happy. You're not thinking this Why? is charming on a white charger or a knight in shining armor coming for you, are you? <laughs> Why are you jealous? There you go, Nina, daydreaming again. It said I was born to smother you with flowers. Come on. That's He's going to smother her with flowers, literally. Like oh, hold on. Wait, there is a new guy in our class. You know who I'm talking about? Oh, I've seen him. He's the guy who sits quietly in that legendary seat in room 12 where you're bound to be called by the instructor. But strangely enough, he's never called on. That's right. And you want to know what else? He is always staring at Nina the entire class. Huh? What the, the one. F What do you mean? Come on, you know. Prince Charming, who else? Dude, what a creep, bro. That's your sister, you piece of shit. All I bro, I'm calling it. Boy was extremely oh. grateful to you. Yes, Dr. Tenma. He told me more than once that because you saved his life, you meant more to him than his parents. What name did he go by then? 
Franz. I mean, these are safe. But he did tell me it wasn't his real name. If he opened up to tell you that much, it means he must have really trusted you. Yeah. He just showed up one day out of nowhere, really. Mr. and Mrs. Heine, who lived across the hall, took him in. He lived with them for about a year. No, actually it was, uh, it was uh, 14 months, to be precise, from March 1987 to April 1988. And then one day, out of the blue, he suddenly vanished. Uh, he really was very bright, that boy, and very well-mannered. Did he visit oh, he's the evil? apartment very often? Every day. I live alone, so I always welcome the company. He sat in that chair and would spend most of his time studying. He was able to master the English and French that I taught him in no time. By the time wow. he disappeared, he was completely fluent in both languages. He was only 12 years old. Can you tell me if there's anything else you remember about him? Anything? He was always interested in listening to my stories. And what kind of stories do you think he liked best? Go on, take a wild guess. Uh, the murdering type. He liked the fucked up one. Stories. War stories? Oh, there you go. During Damn World War II, I was on the crew of a U-boat. The boy's favorite story was about the time we were attacked by a destroyer of the Allied forces. We were at a depth of 120 meters. That's when we were attacked by the enemy. We had suffered a mortal blow. But we just kept going. We all waited in terror inside that creaking boat, enduring hour after hour. That's we so scary. I, I hate the ocean. For a day and a half. It terrifies me. Any ordinary child would have probably looked at this as another adventure story. But that boy was different. What he was most interested in was my description of ultimate fear. Yes, ultimate wow. fear. Wow. Oh. That reaction of people on the verge of death fascinated him. That was all he was interested wow. in. Wow. He toyed with fear. What a fuck. What a fucking psychopath, bro. Piece of shit. So, <laughs> he don't like. He's expression? gonna do it to his sister. He probably had probably orgasmic. Not see Dr. Tenma. Wait, no, what? I don't know the boy's real name, nor obviously do I have any idea what he looks like for that matter. Earlier, That's why he was trusting. trusted me because he told me Franz wasn't his real name. I can assure you that he doesn't trust anyone. There's only one person that boy has trusted in his life, and that's his sister. Him, Tenma? Listen, I oh, sister. I'm looking for that sister. He said he would go get her when she turned 20. Where is she? In Heidelberg. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you mean, go get her? Later. Oh, fuck. Scooter, honey. I will. He's going to kill those Bye. parents. To, I'm telling... Uh, that's the last time. Oh, that's the last time you're saying bye. <laughs> no. See you later. No. No, you know this is the last time they're seeing each other, bro. The time has come, Ooh. hasn't it? I know. We made an agreement. We said we'd tell her on her 20th birthday that, that she isn't our real daughter. <laughs> For a second, I thought that the brother told them to take care of her so she was 20. Oh my gosh, she's dying, but... to meet him. I mean, he's there. Told dying. him you wait for him here. It's better you didn't know. Don't mess it up. You're about to meet Prince Charming. Later. <laughs> wait, Clara, Beate. <sighs> Beate. Uh, how could they do this behind my back? <laughs> oh, that's the bitch right there. <gasps> it's him. Here we go. No, don't. No, they're gonna die. If they see his face, I mean, everyone sees his face. I hope that's Tema. I know it's not. Oh, Hi, shit. How do you do? You're Nina Fortuner, right? Uh, yes. Oh, good. Yeah. My name's Otto Huberman. Uh, no, that's not him. Uh, that's not him, right? Uh, 
Oh, that's him. Oh, shit. She remembers. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a damn murderer. Who are you? I've seen that face somewhere before. No, don't remember, please. Who? Who are you? All right, come on, bro. He ain't. Wow. Yo, you know what would be funny? Like, imagine he, like, he checks his breath. He's like, yo, did I, did she pass out because of my breath? That'd be funny. But, wow. Wow. He's probably, that piece of shit brother's probably going to go kill the damn parents, bro. Wow. I'm so. Yo, I hope Tenma gets there in time. I'm, look, look. The only way I could, like, you know, be calm and, you know, watch this anime is, just, is like, saying to myself, like, like, I, like, acting like I know, you know what I mean? So, so I'm, I'm saying the sister, unfortunately, she's going to die. The parents are going to die. All right, that's what I'm calling right now. All right, that's the only way I could, like, you know, be ready for it. You get what I mean? I hope she doesn't, but, but in the same time, he says, that that's the only person he trusts in the world. So why I don't? Maybe he no. Maybe he would kill her, for he could like you know f feel like truly alone. I guess I don't know. Shit, I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything. I love you guys. Um, hit that like button if you're enjoying it, and if you want more. And y'all mean the world to me. Thank you for my new subs. Welcome. And yeah. So till next time.